Okay, so tonight I'm going to attempt to do some crazy things. First off, I want to do a simple dinner over in the fire pit so that I can pretty much put it in and ignore it and come over here and work on the Roma cook stove and do a dessert that I'm dish I'm looking to do. Unfortunately, it's starting to sprinkle and because of that, I intended to make chocolate but if I work with chocolate and it gets wet in my chocolate with moisture from the sprinkling then my chocolate will harden up and not set right and I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not but I'm gonna give it an attempt anyways because it's the 15th day and I want to celebrate so here goes real quick just showing you how beautiful this charred leaf is and how huge it is I mean there's my my whole dinner plate so dish I'm gonna only use the stock here because that's my favorite part it's nice and chewy okay now, there's my sweet peas, my sliced zucchini, my sliced rainbow chard, or kale, excuse me, um, minced garlic, the herbs and spices from the gar garden, that's basil, thyme, oregano, rosemary, and sweet marjoram, and then there's the sweet salmon filet. I'm going to seal this up. I'm going to put a little bit of water, actually, to ensure that it doesn't burn too much almost drowning it in the water and then uh, I'm gonna seal this up and put that in in there over by the fire next to the coals I'm gonna put it at a pretty good distance and let it sit there for a while while I work on making my dessert all right guys okay there it is sitting in the fire or right near around the fire and we'll uh, go start on dessert Okay, here's my double broiler. Just one pan with some water and another pan that's empty. And I'm gonna pour my chocolate in here. And hope that I can melt this down safely without burning it or getting it wet in any way, shape, or form. Okay, well the dinner's still over there in the fire pit, cook it away. I've already had to refill the water at least once. Um, I've also melted down that chocolate and put it in this little cup mold of mine. Which hopefully that will cool off. If not, I'm going to have to go stick on the fridge. And at the same time, I'm making caramel. Now, for those who do not know, there are a few different recipes for caramel. The most simplest of which is called hard caramel which is simply nothing more than sugar put into a pot and heat it up until it turns brown. Then if you want to make more of a caramel cream, you use a little bit of milk or heavy cream once the caramel turns brown and cools off a little bit. And if you really want something really good and then get the caramel chew, then you add caramel, or the, excuse me, a little bit of smoke out of my face there. You add butter and milk. So, uh, or butter, excuse me, and heavy cream. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of butter tonight because that's what I have available, and we'll see how we can get this to drizzle out. Well, that starts to get a little golden brown there around the outer edge, as you can see. I'm going to run and grab a couple of raspberries because that's also part of this dish. Okay, there's my caramel syrup with a little bit of hard caramel rock in it because I didn't have any milk or heavy cream to turn it all into into the caramel sauce but there's some caramel sauce along with some hard caramel chews some raspberries some currants and some strawberries and then my chocolate mold over here that I'm gonna go stick in the freezer so that hopefully it gets cold enough and then I'm gonna go check on my dinner all right folks we'll keep you informed okay come back over to give it a little shot and a little check out see how it's looking open up the lid here And look at that, still got moisture in it, still bubbling away, looking real good. You can see that garlic over there on the corner and the zucchini there, 
a little golden brown to the one tip of the fillet skin but all the way across yet so we're gonna let it keep going and uh I'm gonna even build up a little heat over on this side of it all right so what we'll do is we'll take some of these hot coals and move them down to this side so that hopefully that other end gets nice and cooked as well All right, we'll just let that keep burning for another, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, while that is cooling in the freezer and getting harder for our dessert. Okay, hopefully you can see that. That is my chocolate cup with raspberries, currants, and strawberries, and drizzled caramel over top, sauce over the top. Now that's a dessert. Now it's just time to add the dinner to the plate. I just wanted to give you one quick look at that caramel sauce chocolate. And the salmon, zucchini, sweet peas, and kale, and garlic. And there you go. That's dinner for tonight.